Loader. This is a tutorial on how to set up the donation board version 7. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to come over to our Discord server, Zen Technologies, come to the products channel and click on this link here. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is press the get model button and then you're going to come to Roblox Studio. You're going to select my models, should be the first one there going to add it into your game, open up the workspace, if you don't have it opened, come to the view tab and select explorer and properties, uh, next press the arrow next to the nation board model, delete the delete me model, uh, drag the nation board to wherever you want, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come back to the browser, go to the create.robots.com and you're going to find your game if it's a group game it will be here if it's under your account it will be under your username uh, you're going to find the game that you want the donation board to be in press the three dots um, actually you can just click here go to associated items click developer products create a developer product name it to what you want five robux donation in this case Set the price to 5 Robux or however much you want. For the description that is optional and the image is also optional. Create a developer product. I'll create one more just for testing. 10 Robux and create a developer product. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to come back to Robux Studio, open up the important folder and open up configuration. Scroll down to the product section. Copy the ID of the first product and paste it here the ID of the second product and repeat. If you want to add more products, you can just copy this and paste it as many times as you want. If you want to remove them, you can delete. Uh, in this case, I only have two, so no will we'll have. Uh, now moving on to the settings. Uh, first setting, you can leave that as the nation board version. Admins, these are people who have access to the settings in game. Uh, you just need to put the user ID of them, in this case I'll copy my user ID, although since I'm, a, I'm the owner of the game it should be automatically placed in. Uh, use product callback, we'll get to that later. Data store is just the data store of the donation board. This doesn't reset the settings, but it resets all the donations from the past month and all time. Watermark, you can enable that if you want or, or disable it. It just shows a watermark at the bottom of your screen. Donation effects, when someone donates it will play and effects. Buff the donation wall like some Robux icons. Donation sounds, again when someone donates it will um, create a sound. Uh, now there are four different levels of donation effects, one, two, three, and four, four being the strongest and one being the weakest. Uh, these are all essential features. To buy essential I'll leave a link to the game pass in the description or you can join our Discord server for more ways to pay. Basically uh, you can here put the minimum amount of Robux um, for each nation, in this case, I'll set the first one to 100 and I'll set the fourth one to 0 for testing purposes. Chat messages, this will send a chat message when somebody donates in-game. Set this to true to be enabled. The message color, it will set it to um, like a random color here. Put this at 2, 2, 3, and I'll put this at 1, set 2. Uh, this is the message, you can replace percent player name percent and amount donated with the player name and the amount donated. Uh, the font, you can change this to whatever you want, in this case I'll put Nito. Global chat messages, this will send a chat message to every server in your game when someone donates. Uh, in this case by default it's 5000 Robux, we'll get onto that a bit later. Webhook settings. Uh, you can enable this by setting this to true, come to your Discord server, come to a channel of choice, in this case I'll select with logs, integrations, webhooks, new webhook, click on it, name it to what you want, donations, and press save changes, press copy webhook URL and paste it in here. Next thing you're going to want to do is the webhook style, the content, you can put at everyone, title, again replace player name and amount donated, those will automatically be replaced with the player's name and the amount donated, you've got the description which is the main content of the embed, the colour of the embed, uh, we'll change this to, actually we'll leave it as this, author image, author text, 
uh, thumbnail image, pretty self-explanatory. Finally, we have the premium features. Here is where you can change the statue animation ID, these statues right here. Um, you can put whatever ID you want. Announce a serv game server. This will show a GUI around here when someone donates to the whole server. Here you can change how long you want the GUI to stay for. In this case, we get three seconds. Top three donor name tags, we can set this to true. This will just give everyone who donates a name tag if they are in the top three donations. Top three donor chat tags, this will give a chat tag to the top three donors. Minimum for global uh, Robux for global announcements or global chat tags. This just allows you to change the minimum required. Uh, we can set this to, let's say, 100. Uh, donation sound settings, these are for the donation effects, you can change the sound ID, the length, and where you want it to start from. Uh, you can also set it to loops if you want. Uh, it's recommended not to, otherwise it will play forever. We've got the product IDs, and we've got the callback. Essentially what callback is, is to use callback you need to enable this feature, and then say that you have a skip stage developer product or any other developer product, you need to put the ID of the developer product here and the function. This is because the donation board uses process receipt, which can only be called once per game server, uh, meaning that you have to put your developer products here. Uh, the configuration module is moved to server script service, so you don't need to worry about exploiters abusing the callback feature. Uh, now what we can do is we can come into a test session where I'll show you more features of the donation board. Uh, the first thing you are actually going to want to do is you're going to make sure that HTTP requests are enabled and access to API services are enabled. You can do that by pressing game settings, security, allow HTTP requests and enable studio access to API services. Right, as you can see, when we come into studio, uh, everything loads fine. Um, you can see here, uh, no one's donated, so no donations will show up. Uh, when we open up the settings page, we have all these different themes. Uh, now, some of the themes are premium only. There will be a lot of us in now since there is since my account is whitelisted for premium, I can change to whatever I want. For example, we'll use purple theme. Update interval, the uh, minimum it can go is 30 seconds. Unless you have premium, then it can go all the way down to 10. Uh, I'll put that to 10. And list size, the minimum is uh, 10 and the maximum is 50. Unless you have premium, it is 100. So we'll set that to 19, just testing for 20. I'll press save preferences and it will save and the version board should update in a few seconds. Uh, next what we have is we have the sponsors page. You can pay a thousand robux a month to get your game sponsored. The info page which is just information. Uh, as you can see we've got the three statues and the donation board has updated. The theme has updated it for showing top 20 donors. Obviously no one has donated. Uh, now we'll do a test donation. I'll do a test donation of 5 Robux. Uh, now it will say 0 Robux because nobody has actually donated. Uh, but since we're in studio, uh, as you can see, the uh, GUI only showed up for 3 seconds. And we have a level 4 donation. Now, there isn't currently any sound, but. Yeah, the donation would now refreshes every 10 seconds. The top donor has updated, and since it was a level 4 donation, as we set in the configuration panel, that's why the effects lasted for so long. Uh, that's basically it for the features of the donation board. Um, if you want to buy premium or essential, you can check out the links in the description of this video. Our Discord server will also be linked there, uh, as well as a link for the donation board. Uh, I hope you find the donation board useful and it helps you into generating some extra revenue into your game. Uh, if you need any help, any questions, please feel free to join our support server and open a ticket. Uh, that's all from me. Have a nice day.